This is it, what? Cohiba lit, what? We got that yak up in the cup and getting bent, what? Put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. This is it, what? That Chiba lit, what? You got some drink up in your cup and getting bent, what? So put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. You were tuned in to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Now, Saturday that just passed, we had great fights all across the board. Possibly the best fight of the past weekend was Joe Smith Jr. versus Maxim Vlazov for the vacant 175 pound WBO title. Now, Joe Smith won a highly competitive, highly contested majority decision. And the judges were Gerald Ritter. He had it 115, 112. Joe Smith, Pat Russell had it 115, 113. Joe Smith and David Sutherland had it 114, 114 to draw. Now, Maxim Vlasov has filed a protest slash complaint with the WBO. He is citing the judges and he is citing the lack of drug testing. Okay. Now, it was a close fight. Like, it was a close fight. Highly competitive fight. Me, personally, I had it 115, 113, Joe Smith. But this was one of those fights where there was a couple of swing rounds. And a lot of the rounds was really just dependent on what you like. This wasn't the easiest fight to score. I just know it was a competitive fight. Now, if you had it 114, 114 a draw, or 115, 113 for Joe Smith, or 115, 113 for Maxim Vlasov, those are respectable scorecards. Um, I didn't see anyone winning 8 4 or 9 3 as far as the scorecards. Okay. Now, if a judge would have had it 8 4, 9 3, 10 2 for somebody in this fight, then. Yeah, I would have filed a complaint as well. I definitely would have filed a protest against the judges. Now, anybody that's familiar with the channel, you know I am highly critical of judges, period. But I am extremely critical of top-ranked judges because they be on some bullshit. And that's just point-blank, period. They really, really be on some bullshit. But I can't blame these three judges. These are respectable scorecards, man. These are respectable scorecards. Gerald Ritter, 115-112. Pat Russell, 115-113. David Sutherland, 114-114. That's that's right in the ballpark. When you have a close fight like this, if you're if a judge's scorecard is in the ballpark, like within a round, that's a respectable scorecard, man. It's a respectable scorecard. I mean, and there's people that I'm cool with. There's people that I follow on social media. A lot of them had it 115-113. Vlazov. They thought Vlazov won seven five. So I, I, I highly respect you know those people. And the thing that's crazy is in Vlazov's mind and in Vlazov's handler's mind, they felt like he clearly won the fight. And I'm just like, I don't know what fight y'all were watching. This was a close fight. This was a close fight. But I want to actually get into the part where he said the drug testing. Now, in the article, big shout out to Boxing Scene. The, the article's on Boxing Scene. But they basically came out and said that there was a lack of drug testing. And they didn't say it was a lack of drug testing in terms of Joe Smith. Like, they wasn't throwing any shots at Joe Smith or saying that he was on, on the finest juices. They, they wasn't saying that at all. What they were saying is that they were never tested going into the fight they did not take one drug test which i found very 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 interesting and i'm gonna tell you why because this fight was supposed to go down months ago and it was postponed because they said maxim vlazov had covid19 with things being so strict um just in the United States in terms of protocols and things like that in terms of COVID-19, I find it hard to believe that they would do the extensive COVID-19 testing but wouldn't do one drug test. 
Now, I'm going to take Vlazov's word for it. If he say he was never tested going into this fight, then that's what it is. But that's that's crazy. If, if that's the case, that's crazy. I'm going to find out from Joe Smith, did they get tested for this fight? Um, I, I don't know um, what to think of that. Just in a general sense, thinking about it, I'm like, yo, like that don't make any sense whatsoever. Like a promoter and a big company like Top Rank is not going to risk like anything funny going on in this climate. You know what I mean? In terms of testing, drug testing, COVID testing, like it's very strict right now. So, I yeah, I'm going to have to do some more digging as far as that's concerned. But Vlasov's team with the complaint to the WBO, they basically acknowledge that nothing is probably going to change, but they want to enforce an immediate rematch because of how close the fight was and the controversy with the judges. Me personally, again, as much as I can't stand top ranked judges, there was no controversy with, with this one as far as I'm concerned, as far as the scorecards. They were respectable scorecards. But I hate to break it to Maxim Vlazov, but he's not getting the immediate rematch. <laughs> he's not getting an immediate rematch. Unification is going to trump his immediate rematch request. You're going to get Arta Baturbiev and you're going to get Joe Smith Jr. coming up next. Now, is it necessarily fair that Joe Smith goes into a unification fight? As soon as he wins the belt, I mean, it's really not about being fair or unfair. It's really just cashing out on the biggest opportunity you can. Uh, Tia Fimo won his belt against Richard Comey, and he went right into a unification with Lomachenko. So Joe Smith can do the exact same thing. And I actually think even though Joe Smith would be an underdog against Arthur uh, Better Bev, but... Vlazov is more of a puzzle to solve inside of the ring than Arthur Better Bev. Uh, Better Bev is more straight up and down. It's less things that Joe Smith will have to figure out. So he'll actually have an easier time in terms of style with uh, Better Bev than he would Vlazov. Vlazov is a tricky puzzle to solve. And on top of that, he's a big 175. He's for the cruiserweight before. So. Vlazov is not no small guy, and, and for good portions of the fight, he had Joe Smith on the back foot. So, Joe Smith has just won the title. He's probably going right into a unification fight, and this protest slash, you know, complaint to the WBO is going to fall on deaf ears. It's going to fall on deaf ears. Um, I just don't think the complaint is valid. I don't think the protest is valid. I don't think the complaint is valid. And as far as the drug testing is concerned, at the end of the day, you have to negotiate drug testing and things like that in the negotiations. Like, you have to negotiate that. So, if you weren't tested and Joe Smith wasn't tested going into a vacant WBO 175-pound title fight, you got to blame your team for that. You got to blame your team for that unless unless they told you like, hey, either take the fight under these terms or you're not going to get the fight. Unless they told you something like that, if they didn't negotiate some type of drug testing terms in the contract, then that's that's on your team. That's your team fault. But I think Maxim Vlazov deserves a rematch. He's just not going to get an immediate one. But big shout out to Maxim Vlazov. Big shout out to Joe Smith Jr. They put on a great performance, a great fight. And y'all let me know what your scorecard was for that fight. Who you thought won the fight, even if you don't have a scorecard. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.